Good morning and God bless. Let us join together in prayer on this day. O oh Lord, whatever the day brings, we pray that you will help us to endure so that your light will not diminish despite all the shadows of doubt that we might cast upon the way. O oh Lord God, help us to see the evil in our lives before judging the world and pointing at the shards of sin in the lives of others, Lord, there is first our own soiled timbers of troubles that assail us. So instill in us a new humility, Lord, that we will not take your grace for granted, that we will hold fast against the rushing floods of worries, doubts, and fears, and faithlessness that threaten to tear, away us, tear us away from joy with which we have awakened before your word this day. O oh Lord, our faith in you is more than a passing thought. Our hope in you is not just some daydream. You will take every bit of strength of body, mind, and spirit, but we will love you, Lord, with all of who we are. We will pray for those who have given up in will and live their own lives one day to the next with no accountability and no one who really cares about their lives, Lord, not even themselves. Lord, it must be such emptiness. Lord, we pray for the thoughtless ones, the careless people, who dwell in the darkness of fear and doubt. May our lives be a witness unto them and grant your people the words to speak, the praise to share, that we might stem the tide of evil and in Christ our Lord make a stand for truth and life ever and everlasting joy. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And in opening up God's word today, we turn to a proverb. Proverbs Reading in chapter 22, just the third verse. A prudent man foreseeth evil, and hideth himself, but the simple pass on, and are punished. Stark words. When it comes to foreseeing, the kind of foreseeing that is described in the Bible as prophecy, being prophetic in our faith is not some holy fortune telling. From Moses through Samuel and Nathan to Elijah and Elisha, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel, Amos, and all the other prophets, the title and office of prophet has been upheld by a number of different people of a variety of backgrounds, some with a lot of theological training some with none at all. The inspiration of the Spirit guided them in their work. All of them together, guided in God's Holy Spirit, did something that amazes us still when it comes to understanding what God is doing and being able to share it with others. It's not the ability to tell the future. In fact, the Bible warns us against fortune tellers and sorcerers and their abusive use of people and the gifts that God has given them. Prophets perceive the present and in gifts of discernment distinguish the path that we are on and the direction of life that God is taking us and all God's people. Their predictions are woven into revelation so that they are really predicting the future by relating in the present. What God is doing now and God has said, God has revealed to them, is coming in the time to come. So it is not they that predict any future, but they in sharing what God has instilled in them in insight and understanding are able to show us the way that we are going and warn us from ways of danger and hurt. God sets such gifts in prophets, in prophecy, upon people of faith at different times. And if we act in, with wisdom, we remain aware of such insights and we use them to declare them as the fulfillment of our calling God, we are invited to enter into that office of prophecy as well. And that means you and I should seek to be more aware even while we are hid from the world in so many ways to maintain lines of communication 
take greater effort to stay in contact with one another send letters emails reports keep up or start up journals vlogs blogs share what we see what we believe what we're learning and grow together as we seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit in the midst of all of this in the midst of all of this some people will just let things happen as they will and certainly we cannot stem the tide of the events of life and time but with a little spiritual preparation we will hold fast while the world passes on and steadfast and sure as we hold fast to and hide ourselves in the rock of our salvation we will carry on through these evil days God bless and grant you peace.